What's up everybody, Tech Chucker here, and today I've got a review of my very first Mezco figure. That's right, it is the Batman vs. Superman Batman figure, and I gotta say, this thing is awesome. It is really cool. Now, these things are clearly a little more expensive than your standard 6-inch figures, but I really think after looking at this one, it's worth it. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. All right, so when it comes to the articulation on this figure, I'm probably not going to uh, try and detail exactly what type of joint each joint is, but we're going to take a look at what's the range of motion on these things. So his head is, uh, it's on a double ball peg, and he it is pretty limited. You know, he's only able to look up this far, which really, I mean, Batman's not able to look up that much anyway. And he's able to get his chin almost down, all the way down into his chest. He does have... Uh, one of the issues is the head does pop off a little easy, but he's got good side-to-side -side rotation. There's no uh, issues with that, aside from that head being a little bit loose on there. Now, he does have good tilt. Uh, if you use it too much, it's going to pop that ball off, but you do have that flexibility of being able to kind of slide his head just a little bit off of the ball, and you get a little bit more uh, range of motion there. Moving into the shoulders, he's got what I imagine is probably a, uh, a ball hinge. Um, and he can actually get his arm out quite a bit, even with the, uh, the fabric stretching. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want it to actually stretch. Uh, if he didn't have the fabric, he could certainly do a full rotation of that arm, but I'm not going to even attempt it because one, no one would do it anyway. I believe there is a butterfly joint. It's a little bit limited, um, but it is there and it works pretty good. It actually works really good going backwards. And again, be careful with that fabric. Um, there is an upper bicep swivel, works pretty good. You're probably not gonna get a full rotation, but who needs that? Um, the elbow is, let's see, yeah, that's about just a little over 90 degrees, not too bad. There is an upper forearm uh, swivel, which also works really good, I like that. And then in the wrist, there is a ball hinge, uh, which works really, really good. I like this. Moving into the torso, the torso is probably the one area where there is the most uh, hindrance in the actual articulation. He's not really able to crunch forward much at all, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. It'd be nice if he could go a little bit more, but backwards is pretty decent. Uh, he, can, he can arch his back pretty good. I'm happy with that. There is, uh, he does have swivel at both the upper torso and uh, the waist, which works really good, and the costume looks good. He's got some side-to-side -side crunch, which works really, really good. I really like that. Moving down into the hips. Now, be careful because, again, this is fabric, so we don't want this to stretch. I'm stretching this pretty far. I don't want it to go any further. Uh, but you can see he can get his legs spread out quite a bit, which is pretty darn good so this is i'm not even going to bother trying to get his feet flat on the floor but he can go a long ways be careful with that though i don't you know you don't want that fabric to stretch and then stay all baggy he's able to kick his leg just about 90 degrees out which isn't too bad um i probably wouldn't expect too much more of a batman figure and then he's able to get his leg back Actually, not too bad. It's, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And then he does have an upper thigh swivel. I'm not entirely sure. I assume that that's a, a cut, but it might not be. And then he has double jointed knees, which work pretty good, um, just over 90 degrees, which is really, really good. There is an upper boot swivel, which works really, really good. I actually like this one. Normally I don't, but it, it looks good. It works good. And then he's got what I believe is, uh, I don't know if that's a ball joint, probably. Uh, he's able to get his foot back this much, which is pretty, it's okay. It'd be nice if it was a little better, but he's actually able to get that foot forward really, really good. Um, I'm happy with that. And then there is also an ankle rocker, which mine are a little bit loose, um, but they still hold the figure pretty good. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. So overall with the articulation, I'm super, super happy with this, especially with the cloth. I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, with all the cloth covering the uh, the joints, and, and I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Moving down into the sculpt and the paintwork, and this is really where 
uh, I think a lot of your money is going and and I'm really really happy with it I think that Mezco uh, did a really really good job with the sculpt work on this figure let's get him situated here so that you can actually see his head we're gonna take a look at the head first and I gotta say this is probably the best cowl uh, sculpt I've seen with the eyes you can see that it actually looks like um, it's two different level layers you know you've got the actual cowl and then you've got the eyes and the way that they painted that is just so good I really really like it they have actually got uh, some paint on the lips um, I just think it's amazing if we move back uh, and look at the neck the one thing I don't really like is this uh, neck piece doesn't have the same texture as the the actual back of the head but you know what I can totally look past that I love this logo on his on the front um, the texture of the actual fabric is awesome it's a little bit stretchy you can see here so um, it does give with the with the actual articulation points um, I love these uh, forearm pieces and the hands are sculpted really, really well. The paint is really, really nice. I just, I love it. The belt looks really, really good. Um, I like this gold. I think they painted it very cleanly and I, I've got no complaints. I just, I love the design work of the fabric with the different seams throughout is just so cool. And then again, down on the shins and the boots, I think they they nailed it they they did such a great job uh, it looks like he stepped in some stepped in some sort of scat or something i uh, you'd think batman would have something to uh be able to avoid that but whatever but yeah look at the bottom of those boots they've got uh, the the treads um it's just cool let's look at the cape because this cape is really really nice um i really like it it's really really big all right let's just see just how big this thing is I mean, this is taking up almost the entire frame, uh, which is really cool. And I love how at the bottom they actually uh, threw some paint on there to give it, uh, make it look like it's been dragging on the ground because it would be at this length. It would definitely be dragging on the ground and getting dirty. So one thing that I have have to do with mine and, and is I typically fold the edges down underneath itself right at the top there. Um, that way then, I don't know, I just feel like it... it it lays a little bit better that way. So overall, I am super pleased with the sculpt. Let's take a look at the accessories now. Uh, this figure comes with two heads. Uh, this is actually the one that it is uh, packaged with. Uh, and it looks really good. The sculpt is awesome, actually. I, I shouldn't make it sound like as if it's not that cool. But um, it's not very different from the other one. Now. Again, the sculpt and the paintwork is, is awesome on it. Well, let's take a closer look of a side-by-side -side between the two. Here's the second one. And you can see, one, it's got great sculpt, great paint. It's, it's amazing. Um, and I have zero issues with it. The issue really is, is they're just so similar. There's not a lot of difference between the two, and, and I don't know, I guess I'd like something a little bit more on the grimacing one. I wouldn't mind if he had a little bit more uh, emotion into it, maybe a little more anger or something. But there again, I'm super happy with the sculpt and paintwork of these uh, two heads because they look amazing. It just, it just looks great. The paint is awesome. Sculpt is awesome. Uh, I just wish that there was a slight bit more of a difference between them. Mezco gives us a bunch of uh, extra sets of hands, and I just want to show you uh, the first set of hands, which, which come in the box on the figure. And it's a set of fist hands. And I just really, really like the, uh, the sculpt work and the paint work on these, uh, on these hands. They, you can see on the palm there's... Uh, some different uh, texture on there. It's just, I, I don't know, I just, I love them. He also comes with these slightly open hands. Um, again, the, the sculpt work, the paint work is really, really good. Uh, you get a better look at that palm there with the different uh, texture. Um, I just think that they, they really nailed it with these. Next set is a trigger finger for what would be his right hand, and then uh, just kind of a slightly relaxed but slightly gripping hand and then last but not least you get these uh, a pair of 
um, batarang throwing hands and they come with the the batarang sculpted right into the hands which is awesome because it's hard to uh, get those uh, into some hands when when you get those types of accessories um, and I think they just look awesome well, let's pop this guy on there so you can see what this looks like uh, I'm really happy with all of the hands that we get I think it's about what eight eight sets of hands that we get well not eight sets of hands it'd be four four sets of hands um, and these things just look great. I am super happy with how these turned out. Alrighty, so he also comes with three loose batarangs, and they look pretty well identical to the ones that are sculpted into the hands. Uh, they look really, really cool. They're, um, there's not really much for paint aside from the actual silver color that they come in, but they're sculpted really nicely. There's some detail on there. They're sharp. Uh, they're just really, really cool. I, I really like these things. Next up, Bats comes with uh, what seems to be some sort of a gas canister, some sort of, uh, maybe it's a flashbang. Um, there's not a lot for paint. I mean, it's pretty much just one color, but it's sculpted nice enough. And let's see if I can find a hand that it fits into. It fits really, really nicely into this hand, which is really nice. Uh, it's great when they put in the detail, the attention to detail to actually make the accessories fit in the hands. That's always appreciated. And then he comes with his brand, which we saw him using to a certain degree, or we knew that he was branding the, the criminals. Uh, and so we get this, and he has a hand that actually holds this. It's kind of cool. So we just pop this sucker in. Oh, maybe it's this one. Alrighty, so he is able to hold that. You can see that the uh, the fingers actually go around, and uh, that just looks really, really good. I think they did a great job, uh, again, with the attention to detail. And Mezco did not disappoint. They gave us a grapnel gun, which is sculpted and painted immaculately. I just I think that they did an amazing job with this. You can see there's an extra grapnel hook uh, on the side. You've got the uh, the brown handle. Um, they just there's so much detail on this thing and it's so cool I just I love it this is a really really nice uh, accessory but they didn't stop there they also gave us this tiny tiny um, grapnel hook uh, folded up that you can shove into the barrel as though it's coming out and locked and loaded and ready to go be careful I dropped mine and thought I had lost it and then he also has one that is um, open, so you can use that, throw that in there. I assume it's meant to go into the barrel. Um, be careful, don't lose that one either. And then we get an actual deployed uh, grapnel hook that uh, has a little plug that is attached to the string. And if you're careful, you can pop that sucker in and pose him as though he is shooting that gun and about to, uh, you know, escape or do whatever he has to do. So there is a hand. Let's see if I can find the hand that fits this. I believe it's the hand that the brand also fits into. And let's pop this sucker on there. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and put it right on. All right, there we go. So then what you can do is, once you've got that hand all figured out, take that uh, hook and hook it up to something outside of the frame or inside the frame, depending on what your diorama or whatever looks like, and boom, it looks like he just shot that sucker and is about to, you know, repel. Would it be repel? That's, that's dropping down. I don't know what it is, but basically he's about to fly out of the scene which is awesome. I, I love that gun. It's just super cool. And then you also get a clear Ziploc bag for all of those accessories, uh, which is always appreciated to have that, uh, that bag to be able to keep track of all of your stuff because some of these are really, really tiny pieces. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention. Uh, Batman has, so let's pull this thing out. He has a peg on his back on the belt that allows him or allows you to stash that grapnel gun in uh, or on his belt so let's see if i can get this pegged in properly it's a little bit hard just because of the way that his back is shaped and you, there's only one way that you can get this pegged in 
but if I could do this without messing things up, this is uh, this is actually when I almost thought I had lost that little grapnel hook piece that plugs into the front because I had that in there while I was trying to poke it in before. And lo and behold, it was all of a sudden missing. There we go. Look at that. That's cool. How awesome is that? The only issue is, is the cape covers it. So nobody knows that it's there. So, I mean, aside from if you're doing uh, poses where the cape is flying up, or maybe you've got it like this so that he's about to grab it from behind his back, um, there's a lot of really cool options that you have uh, with that. So I'm, I'm happy that they that they gave us that peg, uh, gave us the option. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to use it, but it's there. It's an option. All right, so last but not least, and I, I kind of feel as though this a little bit is the creme de la creme. Let's get these turtles out of the way, even though they're super awesome and I love these things. Um, let's take a look at the flight stand that uh, Mezco gave us. Now, there are... Um, it, it's a complex stand. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. But I like it. Number one, you do need to, right, right out of the box, you're probably going to have to tighten all of the joints. Um, but that's not a big deal. But basically, it comes with this really cool Batman versus Superman uh, base, which looks really, really nice. I, I really like I need to clean mine off, apparently. But uh, it looks really, really cool. Very clean, very nice. Well, it would be clean if I dusted it off. So there's a couple pieces to this. So the actual cape uh, mechanism can uh, come off if you want it to come off. And it's got an articulation point right uh, in the center there. So you can kind of change the angle of it. And it comes with five of these uh, little things, which we'll, I'll show you those in a minute. But basically, this uh, is a regular old stand, but it's considerably taller than your standard Mafex or uh, Figma stand, which is nice. It's about the same height as that Superman one that I had before, which is cool. I really love the, the, the higher stands. See here, here's my Mafex stand. It's almost twice the height. All right, so anyway, the uh, the gripping thing actually holds the figure really, really nicely, and it, and it sits underneath the, um, the belt, so it, it kind of hides it pretty well, which I like. The one thing about the stand that can be a little bit difficult is getting that cape on there. And I'm probably not really going to show you that, but let's just show you what that foot peg hole thing. Um, basically, it's just a another piece that you can peg in that has the actual foot peg on it. Nothing too spectacular, pretty simple. Um, and then obviously he's got foot foot peg holes in his both of his feet so you can go ahead and pop that sucker right on just like so it's probably a two-handed job and there you go you can see because my ankle is a little bit well, his ankle is a little bit loose um, it's hard for him to stand on one foot but he can do it not too shabby looks like he's doing hopscotch but overall I'm really really happy with the way that this stand looks, how it works. Yes, getting the actual cape on is a little bit difficult, uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually not too bad. Uh, overall, I'm super happy with this figure. I'm so glad that I started Mezco collecting with the Batman figure, since Batman's pretty much my favorite. Uh, and they did not let me down one bit with this figure. The sculpt is on point, the paint is on point, uh, articulation is great, uh, accessories are awesome, uh, price point's a little high, but um, you know, that's kind of what you gotta get, or you gotta, you gotta bite that bullet if you're gonna get into these higher end uh, action figures. And I, you know, it's not right for everybody, but I'm super happy I grabbed this guy. Alrighty folks, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. You can see them right up here and down here. Also, check out the featured video that I've got here. Every single video I'm gonna feature someone else's video. Somebody who has a channel, either it's an up and comer like myself or somebody who's an old pro. Whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. So make sure you go check it out, like their content, subscribe to their channel. And until next time, 
I'll see you later. Tech Checkers Brain Blast. <laughs>